Thank you for joining us on this video training today. My name is Suzanne Doyle Ingram and the topic for today's video training is how any business owner can write a book and leverage it to increase clients, sales and profits. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about why write a book, who should write a book and why speed to market is critical. And I know that your time is precious, so I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can while at the same time delivering a ton of value to you. So who is Suzanne Doyle Ingram? Well, that's me. I own three businesses. I have written 10 books. Seven of them are bestsellers. And I've taught over 700 people how to write a book. The three businesses that I own, one of them is called Strategic List Services and it's a direct marketing list brokerage firm and we help companies connect with their ideal clients by renting the mailing lists or email lists, that sort of thing. That's been up and running for many years. I also have two other businesses that revolve around writing books, publishing books, ghost writing books and teaching people how to write books like I'm doing right now. I say here that I've written 10 books, I've actually written more than 10 books but the thing is I've written parts of a lot of books. You know when people ask you to be a contributing author, I've done that a few times. I've also uh, ghost written books for people and um, helped other people publish their books. So there's lots of books out there that I have had something to do with. And like I said, seven of them have been bestsellers and I really, really enjoy teaching people how to write books because I find that for the most part, people think they can't write a book. And it's really fun for me to see the transformation in my students go from thinking they can't write a book to actually writing and publishing a book on Amazon and seeing that feeling of accomplishment that they have is priceless. Here's a picture of me and my husband, James, uh, at New Year's Eve in Whistler with our three kids. We sure had fun that night. It was really neat. They have a big family night up there. And um, we live in Vancouver, just outside of Vancouver. So it's one of, the, one of our key places where we go for holidays. And uh, so there we are with our kids dressed up in one of those fun photo booths. This is what I really look like uh, on a good day <laughs> when I've done my hair. Um, so yeah, that's me. That's probably pretty much all you need to know. If you want to know more about me, um, I, I generally don't like to do these long introductions like some people do on webinars and video training where, you know, they talk about themselves for an hour and they tell you all about their difficult childhood and, you know, how they had a terrible accident and how they've overcome adversity. It's really not my style at all. We've all had difficult times in our lives. We've all gotten through them. And uh, I'm just here to help you write a book, quite frankly. And if you want to know more about me, you are welcome to go to my website, SuzanneDoyleIngram.com. You can go to my YouTube channel. You can find me on Facebook. You can even Google my name and you will find over 700,000 pages that have something to do with me. So let's move on. Who is this training for? This training is ideal for business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants who are looking to attract more clients and charge higher fees. For professional speakers who do not yet have a book, if you want to make a living as a speaker, you have to have a book. And similarly, once you have a book, you will find it's much easier to get booked as a speaker. So healing professionals like chiropractors and naturopaths and homeopaths, those sorts of professionals, if you have a book, it's much easier to get new clients. And service professionals like interior designers, photographers, insurance salespeople, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, dog walkers even, landscapers, any kind of service professional like that that writes a book and can, is, can actually hold it in their hand and hand it to a, an ideal prospect, believe me, it positions them as authority immediately. So why write a book? Let's talk about that. A book is the best lead generation tool that you could possibly have. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit about uh, different ways of generating leads for your business. But I truly believe, believe me, I'm in the lead generation business. I own a business that's all about helping people connect to their clients. But I genuinely believe that writing a book is the best way to position yourself as an authority and I will get more into that as well but I, I really truly believe this I've seen it over and over again I want you to be open to possibility on this call 
for the next 45 minutes or so, can you give yourself permission to just be completely open to the possibility of creating whatever you want for your future? So I would really like it if you would not allow yourself to, to speak negatively in your own mind for the next 45 minutes to an hour. Don't say things like, I can't write a book. I'm not like him or her. I don't have what it takes. We all have that inner dialogue that sabotages our dreams. And I want you to just stop right now. Take that just completely out of your head and be open to the possibility because I have a system for writing books. I believe I can teach anyone how to write a book and I will teach you great ways to write a book. So just be open to the possibility for today. I want to give you an example actually of my, a personal example of my life when my husband and I before we had children we lived in Japan and after we finished living in Japan for three years we weren't uh, traveling around Asia. One of the countries we went to was Nepal and it was uh, an amazing place and we were with a group of friends and I would have to say that I was in the the least best shape. In other words, everybody was in better shape than me. And we had to, we were trekking in Nepal and we had to walk for up to nine hours a day up and down these mountains. And, and what was really frustrating for me was they would all be ahead of me and then they would stop and wait for me. And as soon as I caught up, they'd start walking again. So I never had a break. Anyways, one day there was a big um, landslide and the, the trail was knocked out. And the beautiful Nepali people immediately started creating a new trail. But the thing is, the trail went straight up this mountain. I mean, I'm talking straight up, almost like straight up. And I had my backpack on and my husband had his backpack and our couple of friends we were with and everybody was climbing up and I was last again. I had sweat pouring down my brow and by the my husband waited for me halfway up and I was like literally crawling my way up this mountain. And I remember getting to James and just bursting out crying and saying, I just can't do it. I, I don't, I'm going to die. I can't do it. I can't do it. And he just looked at me with so much love and he just said, okay, give me your backpack. And I thought, forget that idea. You can't carry your backpack and my backpack. They're those huge like mountain climbing backpacks. Nobody can carry two. And it made me so mad at myself that I just went, get out of my way and I just stormed all the way up the rest of the mountain and I did it and the, my point is I wasn't allowing myself to be open to possibility I was saying the whole time I can't do this I'm gonna die I'm gonna fall off this mountain everyone else seems to be able to do it except for me what's wrong with me am I that lazy am I that out of shape all that stuff and as soon as my husband just was there to guide me and help me and love me I, I turned it all around in my head and I was like, I am going to do this. And I did it. And this is the same with writing a book. And I hope that you can see what I mean by that. So my goal today on this video training is to help you not only understand, but believe in your heart of hearts, in the unlimited possibilities that come with being a published author. So let's move on. To why write a book? Like I said, it's the best lead generation tool that you could have. It's also a permanent asset that you will have forever. No one can take it away from you. It positions you as an instant expert. It's amazing what it does for you. I absolutely love it. It gives you leverage. You can say things to your clients like in my book on page 47, remember the recipe that I gave you to help you detoxify or, or whatever it is. Um, you can say to them things like, I have a work wor a worksheet in the back of my book. Here it is. Hand it to them. The, the leverage and the credibility that comes along with it is amazing. Now, here's something funny that might shock you. You are not going to write a bestseller. I'm not here today to teach you how to write a bestseller. What? What are you talking about? You think I've gone completely mad, right? Well, I haven't gone mad. I have written bestsellers and, you know, there's a lot of buzz about how to write a bestseller right now. But I personally think that writing a bestseller puts a lot of pressure on you. Not only do you have to write the book and then you have to jump through a million hoops to get it to become a bestseller. 
I challenge you that your book does not have to be a bestseller to have it work for you and to have it help you attract clients. Your goal is to be a published author. You know what? Your ideal client doesn't know the difference and doesn't care. All they know is they're holding a book in your hand that you've written. It has your name on the front of the book as the author. It has your picture on the back of the book and your bio. And it immediately has put you 10,000 leagues above this person in terms of who's the expert here. You're the expert now that you've written a book. And so... I really think, and this is a bold statement to make, but I think having a bestseller is really for your ego. All right, all right, don't get too upset and don't get mad and send me terrible emails. But when you really think about it, there's a reason for writing a book, and I'll get into that in a second. But either you're going to write a best-selling book or you're going to write a lead generation book. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I've had best-selling books and I've had lead generation books. So a best-selling book, how to do that, which is not what this training is about today. I do have training, uh, a course that I offer on this uh, about how to write a Kindle book. And so what you would do in that situation is you would research trending topics that people are looking around for and people are buying. You would use specific keywords so that your, your book is found. For me personally, I write books like that in a pen name because it doesn't really go along with what I really do for a living. And also remember that your bestseller will not remain a bestseller. They they can only be a bestseller for a little while and then they fall down and then they're not bestsellers anymore. Then what it is is a book. (laughs) Does that make sense? On the other hand, a lead generation book explains who you are, what you do, case studies that you've had with your clients and your million dollar gift. No one is looking for this book on Amazon and that's okay. So you, the, the purpose of this training today is to teach you how to write a business book that is a nonfiction. It's about your business and who you are as a chiropractor or a real estate agent or a dog walker, whoever you are, what you do, case studies and your million dollar gift. I'll tell you about that in a second. But it's okay that you don't sell hardly any of these on Amazon. Someone might come along and buy it and that's fantastic. You get a check in the mail, it's great. Your focus after writing this book will not be about pulling out your hair and try to increase your sales on Amazon. Your focus will be getting this book in the hands of your ideal prospects so that you can make more money for your business. Does that make sense? I hope it does. In my training, I always talk about how I have, uh, you know, one of, one of my books on Amazon is quote unquote my biggest failure because it's hardly sold any books on Amazon. It's a book for women entrepreneurs about how to grow their business. But the funny thing is, is that I have, I have gotten several lucrative consulting contracts as a result of that book, it, which basically in financial terms are, is way more money than I would have in book sales. So I hope that makes sense. There's two different kinds of books, the bestseller and the lead generation book. And what I'm talking about today is a lead generation book. Let's talk for a second about how you get leads for your business. Some You may advertise in the yellow pages. You may advertise in the local newspaper. You may do direct marketing, radio. Some people get leads from word of mouth and referrals. Now we all know that yellow page advertising is really expensive. But they also make you feel like you absolutely have to do it. I mean, what kind of business doesn't have an ad in the yellow pages? And so they really have quite a racket going on there. I think it's I think it's overpriced personally. But most business owners feel like they're between a rock and a hard place and they have to have it. A lot of uh, local business owners also advertise in the local newspaper, which can be quite expensive. And uh, as for direct marketing, our, uh, at, my, at my, one of my companies, we sell direct marketing lists. And so direct marketing can be very, very successful if you do it the right way. So for example, let's say I own a restaurant. I can rent a list of all the people that are having a birthday in the month of January, February, March, etc. For 12 months of the year, all the people that live within a 10 mile or 20 mile radius of my restaurant and when their birthdays are. Then what I would do is I would get some postcards made. And the postcard would say something like, are you having a birthday in March? 
come in, bring this postcard into our restaurant and for a free dessert on us or a free entree or whatever you want to do. And I would mail them out. So postcard marketing in the U.S. is only the the uh, the postage for a postcard in the U.S. is only about 33 cents a, a, a stamp, which is very good. It's, it's more expensive in Canada, which is where I am. But um, most of my uh, clients and most of my listeners and viewers are usually in the U.S. So that's why I'm using an American example. So it's pre- it could be it could be very effective to do direct marketing, depending on your industry and depending on your target market. Then you've also got radio. Some people advertise on the radio. Now word of mouth is great. You won't get a better lead than word of mouth and referrals. However, they're not reliable. They don't cost anything, but they're not reliable. The referrals can work well if you have a referral program that's systematic and and consistent. Um, but uh, like I said, it's hard to get referrals because most people don't really think about doing it. So before we go on, I'm going to get a little bit deeper into lead generation, but I want to talk about your customer value. Ask yourself, what is the true value of a new customer, client, or patient? You might have to dig a little in QuickBooks or ask your accountant to figure it out, but you must know this number. How much money does your average customer spend with you? And how long do they stay your customer? Because if you know what one new customer is actually worth, it's simple math to grow your business. Because then you know how much you can spend to get a new customer, right? So if you're a real estate agent, a new customer might be worth $5,000 to you. So realistically, you can spend up to $5,000 to get that customer. Does that make sense? Uh, let's look at another example. So, for example, a restaurant. See, I go to my favorite restaurant once a month with my family and I spend $100. That's $1,200 a year, which adds up to $6,000 during a five-year span. So I am worth $6,000 to that restaurant. And that's not even taking into account the referrals you get from me talking about how great your food is and all the rest of it. So Regardless of anything else that happens in this training, if you don't know what your average customer lifetime value is, I strongly encourage you to figure it out today because you have to have that number in mind. Most people I talk to have no idea unless they've had some sort of coaching before. So please figure out what your average customer value is. It's really important because then you know how much money you can spend to get a customer. So let's talk again about lead generation a little bit more with numbers. So on average, Yellow Pages is going to cost you between $3,500 and $6,000 a year or more, right? If you're going to put a display ad in. Your local newspaper can be up to $19,500 a year because I was looking in my in the rate card for my local paper. It's about $375 for a print ad once a week. That's almost $20,000 a year. Okay. Now we all know you got to spend money to make money, so it all makes sense. Um, there's a local business magazine in Vancouver called Business in Vancouver, and a small quarter-page ad run six times a year will cost over ten thousand dollars. When I was talking about direct marketing before, about the example I gave about the sending the birthday postcard, the the restaurant sending a birthday postcard. Let's say they sent a thousand a month. And like I said, the postage is 33 cents each, so that's $330 a month. And printing 10,000 postcards uh, is about 600 bucks at postcardmania.com. So that works out to be about $4,500. A radio could be $5,000 or more. You could spend as much as you want advertising on the radio. Now, these free ones aren't reliable, as I mentioned. And the paid ones are really too expensive for almost all small business owners to be able to do it consistently, which is why I see small business owners always advertising inconsistently because it's expensive and they try it once and then they go, oh, that didn't work. You know, I used to also work for a magazine called Modern Dog Magazine and we'd see that over and over again where I would say to people, let's look at what your overall budget is for the entire year and then make that fit into an advertising plan that you can do consistently. So instead of doing a full page ad, just do a quarter page ad for a whole year. You get what I'm saying by that. I mean, people need to see your message right in front of their face. This is about spending versus investing. 
I feel like you spend money on ads, but you invest in a book because it becomes your asset that doesn't go away. If you run an ad in the newspaper this Saturday and your ideal client is out of town and doesn't see it, it's gone like that. Bye-bye, all gone, money gone. Whereas the book, well, hey, they could take their book on vacation with them. (laughs) So let's move forward. So why write a book? The first reason is credibility. When you become a published author and you're able to give that book to people, they see you as a credible source. There's perceived credibility and there's actual credibility, but it doesn't really matter which way your customers look at it. They still see you as a very credible authority uh, in your industry. You can pre-sell your customers and patients and clients on who you are and what you do. They read your book and you write it in such a way that you're writing in their language and you're writing directly to them. And I can teach you how to do that. And they, they're reading your book going, yes, wow, this person really understands me. And they are pre-sold. By the time they come to you, they are like, where do I sign? <laughs> it works. It also increases your visibility. After you become a published author, you can have excerpts of your book on your website, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. You can have book signing parties. It, it's, it's a fantastic method of increasing your visibility. It helps you to gain trust as well with your readers. Sometimes I come across business owners that, that feel like, you know what, I don't really have much to say. And I don't really feel like an expert in my industry. But the reality is you only need to know a tiny bit more than your customers do. And they think you are an expert and they trust you. People buy from people that they trust. Your book can help your readers solve a problem. And you might think, well, hmm, if I solve their problem in my book, they're not going to come to me for to hire me. But let's, let me give you an example. Let's say you're a chiropractor and you write a book about how to solve neck pain. Well, they're still going to need to come to you to have you fix their neck pain problem because they're not going to do like at-home chiropractic care by themselves, right? <laughs> they're they're going to they're going to read your book and go, "Oh, wow, I never thought about trying one of those pillows and I didn't know about icing versus heat or, you know, I don't know, I'm pulling these out of out of my hat because I'm not a chiropractor, but what I'm saying is you know about solving neck pain. If you're a real estate agent, you know about how to sell a house, how to stage your home. If you're a dog walker, you know about dogs. If you're an interior designer, in your book you can solve the problem of how to save money on paint or whatever it is. Solving a problem with your book is a great way to get your book done quickly too because it's stuff that you already have in you. You already know this. You can gain a competitive edge by having a book. Of course, right? If someone's looking at hiring two different people and it comes right down to it, you have the same skills, the same experience, and one is a published author, that gives you a competitive edge. You can educate your clients. I was talking to my accountant one day and I said, she said, wow, Suzanne, I think it's really cool what you do helping people write books, but I could never write a book. And I have these conversations probably five times a week with people. And I say, sure, you can. Anyone can write a book. And then she says, no, I can't. And then I say, yes, you can. And then I said to her, when you get a new client, do you ever think, gee, I wish they knew this and this and this. And do you spend a lot of time with each and every one of them saying the same thing over and over again? How about putting all that stuff that you say into a book? You already have it in you. Get it out of you into a book and hand that book to your clients. Now, you may have some people that come in to meet with you that decide not to hire you. Well, I I am willing to bet that handing them the book, educating them on what they need to know before working with you will convert more of those people into clients for you. You could get booked as a speaker, like I said. So what do you think works better? Sending an email to someone who's having an event saying, hey, I'd like to speak at your event. Or putting your book in an envelope and couriering it to them saying, here's a copy of my book. I thought you might want to take a look. I'd love to speak at your event. Who's going to get the job? The person who has the book is going to get booked. You can have something to sell at events, okay? So let's say you are speaking at an event 
it makes it worth your while to go and sell a whole bunch of books for 20 bucks a pop back of the room. You can market your system. This is one of the things that I go into in my coaching program is how uh, basically explaining what you do to your customers. If you position it as a system, it's a great way to position yourself as an authority figure as well. Oh, and there's that word, authority. It, having a book definitely increases your authority and positions you as the number one expert. You can also make an impact. If you do have a story of adversity that you've overcome, that can make a huge impact on people's lives. And I always say to people in my training, you know, to the world, you might be one person, but to one person, you might be the world. There could be something that you write in your book that changes someone's entire life. And I know that sounds really like, oh, you know, but it's true. It's really true. Your book can make an impact and make a difference. And there's no greater gift, I think. So getting your message out to the world is, is one of the most important things you can do. But how? So how do you write a book? This is what I, people ask me all the time. Oh, it's easy for you, Suzanne. No, it's not easy for me. What do you think I am, some kind of robot? <laughs> You could go to the library and research for hours and hours and hours. I would say spending between 100 and 1,000 hours. If you try to do it yourself without any guidance, you'll probably end up spending years, not months, which is really most people that I meet say, I've been writing a book for seven years. And it really doesn't have to take that long. It really doesn't. I have developed a system that gets the book out of you and onto paper very, very quickly. You could hire a ghostwriter, which is around $25,000 or higher. As a matter of fact, there's a very good ghostwriter by the name of Derek Lewis that charges $50,000 a book. He's a great writer. He writes a lot of business books. If you do it yourself, you, always, you also have to worry about formatting, designing the cover art, printing the books and all that. I'll tell you about my coaching program at the end of this video, but basically... It really helps to have someone guide you through this sort of thing. I'm going to tell you exactly how to write a book in a couple minutes here. Okay, getting back to who needs a book, let's talk for a minute about after your book is finished, then what happens and what do you do with it? So if you meet with clients or patients in person, for example, I'm just going to name some of the people who have taken my courses. I've had chiropractors, consultants, coaches, interior designers, professional organizers, um, dog groomers, healers. I even had a shaman once, uh, photographers, social media experts, PR people, insurance people. Um, let me think. There are so many different kinds of people that come through my programs it's actually kind of funny because people who have already written books also take my programs. So what you're going to do with your book is you're going to explain your process and give them your book as a gift. Does that make sense? So if you do long distance, you know, coaching or something over the phone and you have, you know, like an enrollment conversation with them, you can talk about who you are and what you do and how you work with them and explain your process and then mail them a copy of your book as a gift. And that as uh, in that example, your book would probably say the same thing over again. Your process, how you work with people, what results they can expect to get from working with you. And it reinforces, oh yeah, I, I, this, is, this is who I want to work with. They will see you as the expert in your industry. And when you get to use your book as a lead generation tool, you get to decide who you want to work with. That's the position that I'm in now with my coaching program, and I love it because there's only a certain number of people I can coach at a time. And I get to decide who is truly committed to writing a book, who would benefit the most from it, and I decide who to work with. And that will happen to you. You, can, you will get to a place where, you know that feeling where you kind of like, <laughs> this happened to me years ago where... I kind of need the money, but I feel like this person's going to be a bit of a disaster, but I'm going to work with them anyway. So that it always goes like totally crazy and it works out to be like a bad situation. That's, that's going to be over. 
So you will get to decide who you want to work with. But how can I write a book? Is If this is what you're thinking right now, so you're probably going, okay, Suzanne, I understand. I need to write a book to build my business. But how on earth can I write a book? I don't even know where to begin. Well, I have a system that I teach my students. And I'm going to share it with you right now. So to start, there are five things that you need to do. So number one, decide on your purpose. Decide that you're going to write a lead generation book, not a best-selling book like we talked about before. So it's going to be a lead generation book. And you're going to decide um, what's going to be in it. Write an outline about what you want to put in your book. You're going to discover your million-dollar gift. I go through all of this in my coaching program, but I'm just going to give you the Coles Notes version right here. So your million dollar gift is something that's inside of you and everyone has it. My job is to pull it out of you and help you discover what it is. But in a nutshell, it is the transformation that your customer or client or patient has after working with you. It's what you give to them. That's your million dollar gift. And once you clearly know what that is and you can communicate that to your clients, everything changes. You can describe your system in your book. So think about the steps that you take to get results for your clients. Write that down, call it a system, and put that in your book. Now you need to develop good writing habits, okay? And what I mean by that is don't put it off. Wake up 30 minutes early every morning and write then or write at night when your children go to bed, after they go to bed. Figure out some habit to get into uh, where you're consistently writing. Once you have your outline done, then all you need to do is flesh out all those points and your book practically writes itself. So you need to definitely use an outline. I know there are people out there who recommend that you just... uh, grab a blank piece of paper and start writing willy-nilly whatever comes to mind. Like, oh, I'm going to eat a sandwich for lunch and look at the trees and I think I should paint my office and I wonder what time I need to make dinner. I mean, that's not going to help you write a book at all. I completely disagree with that. Furthermore, it would be a nightmare to edit that into anything that anybody would ever want to read. Your readers like patterns and so you're they need you to have a structure to your book so you're going to write an outline and then write the book based on that outline and if you if you um, want to expand the outline as you're going along that's okay but have something to start with so I hope this helps you see how you can write a book now let's talk about how do you get your book in print form how do you get it up on Amazon well createspace.com is where you upload your book. And it is an amazing print-on-demand service. There's lots of them out there. But what I love about it is uh, my books that I have on Amazon are done through CreateSpace. And when you upload your book there, you automatically get a free listing on Amazon. So your clients can look you look up your name on Amazon and see your books there, which is just amazing. And so they offer a print-on-demand service. And what that means is your the file of your book, if you will, sits on Amazon. As soon as somebody buys it, Amazon takes the money and they print one copy of your book really, really fast and they ship it to your customer like within days. Your customer has no idea that there isn't a ware- warehouse full of your books. And by the way, that used to be how you had to self-publish. You used to have to literally order a thousand copies of your book. And isn't that a horrible reminder that they're still sitting on your living room floor or in your office or in your garage? Um, Ooh, I wouldn't want that. So this is amazing that Amazon has this service where they print and ship one copy of your book. And the other thing, too, is that you can buy copies of your book. If you go to createspace.com, and you type in in the search bar there um, buying copies of your book there's a little calculator on there that'll show you exactly um, how, how how much it will cost and I looked into it the other day because I couldn't remember how much my my baby book costs and it was three dollars and fifty seven cents for one copy of that book so how would you like to have a three dollar fifty seven cent lead generation tool for my direct marketing company my leads sometimes cost forty dollars a lead 
okay? But it's okay because my customer value is much, much more than $40. So if you are a real estate agent and your average customer lifetime value is $5,000, do you think you could spend $3.57 on your book as a lead generation tool? I think yes. Same goes for all the other industries that I talked about, like your social media experts. Getting one new client a month? Are you kidding me? That's got to put at least ten or twenty thousand dollars in your pocket per year. And how about the interior decorator handing your book out with your ideas and philosophies and system for three dollars and fifty-seven cents? Uh, and by the way, it's about a hundred. Let me grab it here. I have it right here. It's about a hundred and forty-three pages. It's six by nine. It's uh. And it costs three dollars and fifty-seven cents to print, and well, to, for me to buy a copy of it and sh and give it to my customers. So let's talk for a minute about speed to market. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that one year from now, you could be a published author who has increased your business by fifty percent, one hundred percent, five hundred percent. One year from now is going to happen anyway, right? As a matter of fact, if you do co that coaching program with me, you're going to be a published author in four months, <laughs> okay? But you can do it on your own as well, based on what I've taught you today. And I strongly encourage you to do it. You're not even going to believe the difference that it makes for your business. There's a great quote by Jim Rohn that says, There are two types of pain you will go through in life. The pain of discipline and the pain of regret. Discipline weighs ounces, and pain weighs tons. The reality is that when you're writing a book, it is going to take some discipline, but it's better to have the pain of discipline than the pain of regret. When you become a published author and you see the changes that that brings to your life and your business, and not to mention your bank account, you will have no regrets. I've never, ever met a person who has regretted writing a book and becoming a published author. And it's really not as difficult as you think it is. So let's recap. We've talked about why write a book. We've talked about who should write a book. And we've talked about speed to market. You're going to write a book so you can use it to attract customers to your business. You're going to write a book if you are a person that needs customers. You're a business owner, an entrepreneur, a consultant, a coach, and any of the other industries that I've talked about. You can benefit from writing a book if you want your customers to trust you, to know you, to like you, and to buy from you. It's as basic as that. So let me introduce you to my expert author program. With my program, I take you personally through a series of exercises that basically result in the outline for your book. No stress, no mess. There's no more staring at a blank sheet of paper or a blank screen. It's shockingly simple. So my program is live coaching. It's a small group of only 20 people. It's four months long and you must finish a book. The reason why you must finish the book is because part of the program after you finish the book is developing a creative marketing strategy just for you and your specific industry. So I, I really believe when I create a program or a course that it's everything you need. Personally, I don't like it when I take training and then I find out I need to buy the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So I, in my coaching program, I kick your butt, pardon the French, I kick your butt and make you write a book. So you start not having a book, you end with a book. Then you literally order the books from CreateSpace, have them in your hand. You can order as few or as many as you want, depending on what your creative marketing strategy includes. And then you literally give your book to your your prospects, people that you really want to work with, and you convert them into customers. It's that simple. I also include a whole bunch of things in my program, such as how to write a press release, an actual template of a press release that you can just steal from me and copy and uh, use. Just put in your name. There's a lot of different ways that we can market your book for you, depending on your industry. So the first step to find out if my expert author program would be suitable for you or not is to fill out the, the application form below this video 
And that's going to give me some information about you and your business. And I can take a look at it and see if we would be the right fit for each other or not. And what I would do is set up a time so we could talk on the phone. Just me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, maybe 30-minute call. There's absolutely no obligation. I'm not trying to sell you anything. And you might find that this is not the right fit for you. You might find this is the right fit for you. But it's only for 20 people. And so I need to be really choosy about who... I work with because quite frankly if someone joins my coaching program and isn't committed to write a book that doesn't make me look very good you have to be committed to write a book and I have some amazing strategies to literally pull the book out of you <laughs> I know there's a book in there if you're in business you you got a book in you for sure you have tons of tons of experience education and all that knowledge just sitting inside of you let's pull it out so I want to thank you for your time today. I really appreciate you taking the time to be on this call, on this video, and I really hope that it was helpful for you. I just want to leave you with a couple of thoughts. One is, think about where you are now in your career and where you want to be. And if you feel like a book would help you get to where you want to go, but you feel like you just really can't write it on your own, that's where I come in. So I encourage you to fill out the form and, and get in touch with me because I would love to help you. I don't want to see you fail. I want to hear the joy in your voice when you say, my book is done and it's up on Amazon and I got 10 new customers. I'm freaking out. That's what I want to hear. Have you ever had the greatest idea in the whole world and not done anything with it? That breaks my heart when people do that, okay? If you already have an idea for a book, even better. But you might want to just be open to the possibility of going in a different direction with your book. Who knows? I do know that there's nothing worse than uncertainty. So if you're unsure of your next move, it literally paralyzes you. And you will just do nothing because you don't know what to do. So getting guidance is priceless. Many people are willing to pay for someone to be in their corner. And it doesn't have to be me. But if you want to move forward, pick someone and get them to help you to grow your business. I hope it is me because I would love to work with you and help you write a book and see the amazing results you're going to have for your business. But like I said, I'm not selling anything here. I only have room for 20 people. So I would love for you to fill out the form if it's right for you. I do know one thing for sure, and that is that the amount of revenue that your book will generate from all the new clients that you get far exceeds what you will invest in writing your book. I want to help you write a book, finish that book, print that book, and use that book as a lead generation tool for your business. I look forward to helping you succeed.